Today I'm going to be showing you how to put Google Ads within your Android Flash APK. Um, now this was a request by a user asking how do they put ads or links into an Android app using Flash. Um, others have asked how to monetize it. Um, there is quite a number of limitations in Flash that you can't do in other platforms as far as cross-platform software to create an app uh, but it is possible and there are ways to do it so I'm going to be showing you how to do that today um, this is under the assumption that you already have Google AdSense and also that you have some somewhere to host a web page to display those ads let me see if I can find an example real quick Okay, here is my web page that I use for my ads. It just basically says, thank you for downloading our application. If you need support, this is where you can go. And it displays to Google Ads. Now, I'm going to show you how to open this within your Flash app. Uh, this does use a little bit of advanced coding, so I will, I will post as much information as I can in the description below. Um, but let's begin. Also, this FLA file will be there for download as well. Um, just showing you what we worked on so far. The first tutorial I showed you how to create a click and drag game. And the second tutorial I showed you how to add an exit button, which still works, okay? So we're in good shape. Um, so generally speaking, you wanna put the ads at the beginning or end of the application. We're gonna do this at the start of it. So for that, we're actually going to create another scene. So to add another scene and be able to set up the order, we're going to go, we're going to, go to Window, Other Panels, Scene. And this should pop up. So File, no, do, 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 do. Insert, Scene, Scene 2. Let's just call that Ads. Now the trick here is to put web view to load web view into this application in scene one. So to do that, let's create a couple layers here. Just call this code first layer. Call this continue button. And let's make another frame. Select these three layers, hit F6. Okay. So assuming we're gonna be displaying a web page here with Google Ads, you want a continue button. So let's create a quick continue button. Uh, let's make it a square. Since we're going to be using a black background on the web page, make it pretty visible. Okay, go to your selection tool. Select the, the rectangle or your new button. Convert to symbol. Call it continue. Now that it's a symbol, double click inside of it. Uh, let's put some text in there, just so people know what the heck it is for. Change the color so it doesn't clash. Okay. Go back to the ad scene. Okay, so now that we have our button created, 
select it, go to code snippets, click and go to web page. Now we're actually going to be telling it to do something completely different, so give it a name. Oh, something's already got that name. Okay, continue to. Or next button. Okay, so the code pops up. Navigate to URL, take that line out, and we're going to tell it to go to the next frame. And I will explain here in a second. Next frame is frame 2. Okay. Okay, just to describe what we're doing here. Application loads up. From here up, it'll load Google Ads. It'll actually load a web page when we're done. When you click continue, it'll go to the next frame, and we're going to put code in there to get rid of the web page because the web page is overlaying the application, and we don't want it to show up when we're actually using the click and drag app. So now here's the fun part writing the code to get a web page to come up. Like I said, I am going to copy and paste this into the description. Feel free to follow along. Follow along. So we're going to import flash media dot stage view stage web view. Sorry. And then we're also going to import events, flash events, sorry. Events, I think it's a cap event. Well, no, that doesn't matter. Okay. Create a variable. Okay, now that we're done typing this, window. Okay, as you can see, this is going to create the browser window. This is going to go to that website that I showed you. And let me just see how big this is. Okay, 550 by 400. So we're going to put the 550 parameter. And since it's 400, let's do 350. That way the button has room to show up. And also as the stage background, we want it to match the website. Now before we test this, we need to put a stop in here. And the reason for that is so it doesn't keep going through the application and reloading, reloading, reloading. So Okay. Let's give it a shot. Okay. There we go. Obviously, we need to adjust this a little bit so the button is more center and is in view. Click it, and as you can see, our application shows up right behind the web view. So now we have to write the code to get rid of the web view when we click continue. So let's go into the code here. F9. And I'm actually just going to copy and paste this and let's go through it real quick continue button that goes in place too okay no I don't need that none of that okay so 
we have the code to bring up the web browser and to display the web page with the Google Ads in it. We also have this to stop it so it doesn't move unless we tell it to. And that's what the continue button is for. So when I click the continue button it goes to frame 2 and executes this little code here. Web view dispose closes the browser window with ads and continues on. So now when I run it, first of all let's save. Now when I run it, the web page comes up, the Google Ads display, I click continue and it goes to my application. And that's it. I know this is a little confusing, so if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please post them below. Um, as I said, I will post this code in the description, and also you can view it in the FLA file.